All right, today we're going to continue with our circuits worksheet. Today we're going to look at the combination circuits. Now we're still following the same rules of series and parallel, but the circuits will have both series and parallel within them. So you got to look at both sets of rules kind of at the same time. So let's start with number four here. So number four, you can see as we come out of here, we have a choice. So this tells me it's a parallel circuit. But on this branch, these two are in series. Resistor 1 is in series with resistor 2 because as I head down this path, I don't have a choice. I can't dodge off. If I go through resistor 1, I have to go through resistor 2. So these are in series, whereas this branch, R1, R2, is in parallel with R3, which is in parallel with the battery. So we come back and we look at our uh, setup over here, voltage. Well, typically in a parallel, the voltage is the same everywhere. Well, on this one, because this voltage, we have the 12 volts here, that 12 volts goes all the way across those two together. So that plus that has to equal 12 volts. Okay, but I do have 12 volts on resistor 3. So I can write that one down. But that's the only one I really know. Okay, I know I have two amps coming out of the battery. Okay, that two amps has to divide up, and part of it goes this way and part of it goes that way, but we don't know how much yet. And we know resistance, okay? So from here, we have to decide, hang on, push the phone. Okay, from here, we have to decide we can do a couple different things. We do have V equals IR, so we can solve for the current through this branch right here. So because V equals IR, I equals V over R, and so now we can take our 12 divided by our 15, and we get 0.8. So we now have 0.8 amps going around through resistor 3. So this 2 amps comes to here. Some of that 2 amps goes down. Here, let me use a different color because it's getting kind of crowded in here. Some of that goes down there, and some goes this way. Over this way goes the point, what did I say, 0.8 amps. Well, if I started with 2 and 0.8 went this way, what is left over to come down here? Well, it's got to be the 2 that I started with minus the 0.8 that went this way, right? A bunch of electrons went the way. The leftover electrons went that way. So the 2 minus the 0.8. So I have 1.2 amps going down this branch. Well, since it's in series, if I have 1.2 going through here, I have to have 1.2 going through there because they're series. So these guys here are going to be 1.2. And so that helps me solve this part. Well, now look, I have V equals IR, so 6 times 1.2 is going to give me that, right? So that should be 7.2, but let's just <laughs> make crazier mistakes in my life. So let's make sure with our calculator. Yes, 7.2. Never hurts to check. And the 4 times 1.2, that should be 4.8. And you notice this voltage that went across here and here should add up to the total voltage I have of 12. Well, do those two add together to get 12? They do. So we're kind of checking ourselves. Now, this last one, we have two choices. My resistance is equal to voltage over current. So 12 divided by 2 should give me 6. Or I can add them up. Remember, these two are in series. So 6 plus 4, that means I'm going to have 10 ohms across here. These two, right, this group is in parallel with that group. So this is the equivalent resistance of resistor 1, 2, and this is the resistance of the resistor 3. And what we're actually doing here when we do this is kind of like we're redrawing the circuit, and we're making this equivalent resistor called resistor 1, 2, and we're going to say that's 10 ohms. And then we still have resistor 3 out here. See, this looks more like a simple parallel, so sometimes it's better to redraw your circuit if it make, doesn't make sense like this, and we will redraw as we go forward. Okay, so now we're just doing resistor total. It's just going to be my 10 to the negative 1 plus my 15 to the negative 1 quantity to the negative 1. And if I do all that together, I should get 6. Let's try that. So 10 to the negative 1 plus 15 to the negative 1, <coughs> excuse me, quantity to the negative 1. And looky there. When I do all that, I get 6. What was I supposed to get? 6. Woohoo, look at us. Okay? So, let's move on. We're going to come back to 5, so we have to draw the circuit. Uh, well, how am I supposed to draw the circuit? So 
So let's try a few more before we get to number five. Okay? So let's look at six through eight here. On number six, as I come out of here, look, I got a choice. So it's parallel. But then down the branch, it's series. So this is just like the one we just did, but we have two sets of series within a parallel. All right? So the same thing. I could redraw this and say this is the equivalent resistor R12, and that's an equivalent resistor R34. That is the same circuit as that. Okay, but let's look at what they gave us to see what we can figure out. So they told me I have 50 volts sitting over here. So that means I got 50 volts across there and 50 volts across there. It's shared among the two. Well, if I have 25 volts here and there's 50 total, it means I have to have 25 volts there. If I have 10 volts here and I have 50 total, it means I have to have 40 volts here. Okay, now that I got these, I can do a lot of different things, right? Because V equals IR, R is V over I. So I can take 50 divided by 5 and I can get the total is 10. I can take 25 divided by 2 and get 12 and a half. I can take the 40 divided by 3, which is what, like 13 something something? Let's make sure. Yep, 13.333. So we're just going to go 13.33. Okay, and now where do I go from here? Ooh. Okay, well, let's look. Let's look at the current. We know we have five amps coming out of here. Okay, we know two of the amps goes down this way. There's two amps going this way, down through resistor one. And then I have three amps going through resistor four. Okay, well, this has to come around and connect. So if it goes through resistor four, it had to come through resistor three. So what do you think I have going through resistor three? has to be the three amps. Okay, if I had two amps going this way, they have to go through resistor two. It doesn't have any place to go. It can't go backwards. It's got to keep going in the circle. So if I had two, what plus two gives me five. Okay, had to be, oh, I'm sorry, not plus. If it was two and it's going through the same way, it's got to be two. Okay, can't fight with my own logic. So if we have two going down there and three going there, as the three comes together and the two comes together, what are we going to have coming back through the battery? Five again. So they divide up and then they come back together. Well, that tells us right here, we can do our little voltage divided by current again. And what do we have? Resistance of 12 and a half. And that makes sense, right? If we had the same voltage, we're going to have the same resistance. And then 10 divided by three, we're going to get to what? The 3.3333 forever. And that solved it. But let's check ourselves to make sure we're right. So resistor 1, 2, these two together, they just add because they're in series. So the equivalent resistor 1, 2 is just going to be 25 ohms. Resistor 3 and 4 is going to be, what, the 16.67 ohms if we add those two together. Well, let's figure out if we do this, what do we get for our total resistance over here? So resistance total is going to be that parallel, 25 to the negative 1, plus 16.67 to the negative 1, everything to the negative 1. Okay, so let's go our 25 to the negative 1, that way you guys can see, uh, plus 16.67 to the negative 1, quantity to the negative 1, and we get 10. Now remember, we rounded off the 16.66666 forever. Okay, so we're really close, but we got 10. That's what we should have got. Okay, so we're all good. Everything looks great. All right, let's look at number seven. Okay, on seven. This one's a little bit different. We come out of here, we have a choice, but then we come back together, and then we've got another choice. So it's like I have to go through this group, then I have to go through this group to get back. So it's like a series circuit with little parallel branches. So it's just the opposite of this, series with parallel. Okay, so let's look at what we know. We don't know the total voltage. We know the total, the voltage on this is 12 volts. We know the voltage on resistor 3 is 24 volts. Okay, from that, this one is in parallel with resistor 2. So if we look at just this little part of the circuit, in this little part, resistor 1 and resistor 2 are in parallel. Parallel circuits have the same voltage. Resistor 3 is in parallel with resistor 4. It says 5 there, but it should say 4. Okay, 3 and 4 in parallel. So that's going to be 24. Okay, resistor 3 and 4. 
resistor 4 are not in parallel with resistor 1 and 2, even though they all kind of look like they're in parallel, you know, math-wise, they're all in the same direction kind of thing. But they're not, because they're not together in the same group, right? We have this connection, this series part that connects them. Okay? Now, let's look. Our V equals IR. So I is V over R. So now we can do our little 12 divided by 2, 12 divided by 4, 24 divided by 4, 24 divided by 8. Okay? So we got all those. Now, how do we get this top up here? Well, we can add these together to come up here. So let's redraw this circuit. Let's try that with the resistors. See, and this maybe helps right here. Look, this is resistor 1, 2. This is resistor 3, 4 combination. Remember, the battery can't tell. It just sees resistors. It doesn't know if they're in parallel series. It doesn't know. It just sees a resistance. So first it sees this resistance. Then it sees that one over there. So this and this circuit, the battery look the same. Well, these two are in parallel. So resistor 1, 2, the equivalent resistance, is going to be equal to resistor 1 to the negative 1 plus resistor 2, because remember they're in parallel. Okay. And then resist, let's write them down and then we'll do it in the calculator. Resistor 3, 4 is going to be 4 plus is 8. Okay. Let's see what those end up in the calculator. So we got 2 to the negative 1. 4 to the negative 1, quantity to the negative 1, and we get 1.33 for that guy. And then the bottom one, we get 4 to the negative 1, that's 8 to the negative 1, quantity to the negative 1, <coughs> and we get our 2.67. Okay? So now, remember, these two are in parallel. Sorry, series. Ooh, too many things going on, right? It's easy to get confused. So really, we're just going to add those together. So resistor 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So basically, the resistance total is just going to be 1.33 plus 2.67, because you just add resistors in series. So we're going to take our 1.33 plus our 2.67. We should get 4. And we do. So now we know my resistance total is 4. So let's look at some other things that we can now solve for, because still, we don't have either one of these. How do I figure these out? Remember, as I'm looking at current, I have current coming out of the battery. He comes here. Part of it goes up, part of it comes down, and then he comes back together and goes around and comes through here. And then part of it goes up, part of it goes down, it comes back together over here to come back through the battery. So this is my current total. That current total is going to split. I know through resistor 1 I had 6 amps going this way and I had 3 amps going that way. Well, if I have 6 and 3, they had to come from somewhere, so they had to come from this 9. Okay, if that comes back together, that means I've got 9 amps cruising around. And up through resistor 3, I had 6. And down here, I had 3. Well, there's the 9 again. It comes back together as 9. So that tells me I have to have 9 amps coming through. Okay, let's look at the voltage. Voltage has to divide up, right? So we had the 12 volts on this. Volts in a different color here. So we have my 12 volts there and my 12 volts here. Right? We just said that. There's the 12 volts. I'm sorry, and the 24. Excuse me, I'm confusing you more than I'm helping you here. So we had the 12 volts on the top one and the 20 volts on the bottom one. 24. Right? So we wrote those down earlier. While that voltage is still here, all the voltage together on a series has to add up to get my total. 12 plus 24 is 36 volts. Because that 12 voltage is equal in a parallel, but on a series they add together. So this tells me I should have 36 volts. Well, V equals IR, 9 times 4 is 36. 36 divided by 9 is 4. It doesn't matter how which way you do it, it all worked out. Okay? Now we're going to do one more. We're going to look at number 8 because he's just like number 7. I'm going to go a little quicker on this one just to give, show you the answers. And then we will pause and we will come back to some of the others later. Okay, so let's look here. As we come out of here, we know I have 46 volts, but they all divide up. These are in parallel, these are in parallel. This group is in series with this group. Right? So if we redraw really quick, looks just like the last one we just did, except this is resistor 1, 2, 3, and this is resistor 4, 5. Now through resistor 1 and 2, 
as we go through here, we have three amps coming this way. We've got four amps coming through this way, and then we have, we don't know, coming through there. Now through this bottom one, through resistor four, we've got three amps, and through resistor five, we've got seven amps. Oh, well, right there, it solves this for us. We have three and seven. As they come back out, three and seven put together means there's 10 amps going through the battery. If there's 10 amps coming through the battery and three go that way and four go that way, that's seven. What's left to come down here to resistor three? 10 minus the seven gives me three. So now I know all the currents. Well, that's going to help me solve for other things, right? If I know the voltage and the current, I can find the resistance. 46 divided by 10 is 4.6. And so now I've got one resistor. Okay, the total equivalent resistance. Now I have to look, how are we going to figure out these other things? Okay, well look, here's another two set. V equals IR, so 6 times 3 is equal to 18 volts. If I know I have 18 volts in resistor 3, I'm going to color here. If I have 18 volts there, this group's in parallel. In parallel, the voltage is the same. So I'm going to have 18 volts on all three of those. Well, look, that gives me two more to solve for here. Right? R is V divided by I. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 18 divided by 4 is what? 4.5? Is 4.5. Okay, so now i got to figure out this bottom part. Well, let's look here. Let's go back down. Sometimes it helps to look at the simpler circuit. We had 46 volts right here. We've got 18 volts right there. Well, in a series, the voltage out here has to equal the voltage that we started with. So this has to equal the 46 minus 18. This has got to be the leftover. So what's that? 28. If I have 28 volts on this section, that means I have 28 volts on both of them because they're in parallel. Well, guess what I got now? I got V divided by I. 28 divided by 3. What is like 7 point? Not quite 7 point. 28 divided by 3. Oh, I went in close. 9.33. So we'll check ourselves on our calculator. And 28 divided by 7, that should be 4. Okay? Now, as a check, we could add up all our resistors to see if we got those. So let's do that. So resistor 1, 2, 3, that's resistor 1, 6 to the negative 1, uh, 4.5 to the negative 1, and 6 to the negative 1, all to the negative 1. So we do this 6 to the negative 1 plus 4.5 to the negative 1 plus 6 to the negative 1, all to the negative 1, and we get 1.8. This is 1.8 ohms. Now let's do these two. So resistor 4, 5 is going to be 9.33 to the negative 1 plus 4 to the negative 1, all to the negative 1. So 9.33 to the negative 1 plus 4 to the negative 1, all to the negative 1. And we get 2.8 so this down here is equal to 2.8 ohms. Well, let's add those two together, right? Now these are in series. So resistance total is just resistor 1, 2, 3 plus resistor 4, 5, which is 1.8 plus 2.8. 1.8 plus 2.8. Now we got 4.6. What were we supposed to get? 4.6. Must mean we did everything okay. All right. And the last one, let's just quickly look at number five. And then we'll pause and come back to the other stuff in a minute. So let's look at this guy. So we don't have the circuit, but we have to look over here. Okay, so we know we can't have a complete, right? Resistor one cannot be in parallel with the battery or they would be the same voltage. So we know resistor one, if this is my battery, can't be in parallel. He's got to be in series. That's my first clue. Okay, resistor two and three have different currents, so they cannot be in series. They have to be in parallel. Okay, so we got resistor two, so this is resistor one, resistor two, and resistor three. They have to be in parallel. Right? So 
So we're going to do something like that. Based on that, I think if I just connect, we end up with this. And that should work for this guy here. So we have 24 volts here. We got 8 by 18. Oh, I can't write. 8 volts here. Okay. What's that leave us left over? Well, the voltage here plus the voltage on this series part. These are in parallel, but this is in series with everything else. So the voltage here has to be 16 volts because that's what's left over. Okay, right, if we redrew this. This is kind of the equivalent, right? Resistor 1 and resistor 2, 3. So on 2, 3, there's 16 volts because there's 8 volts here. The 8 plus the 16 is 24. If there's on this, it has to be on each one of these because they're in parallel. Okay, now R equals V over I, resistance equals voltage over current. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So that helps us a little bit. Okay, now how are we going to figure out current? Well, it says I have 4 amps going through this way. And I have 2 amps going through this way. Well, if they come together, what do I have to have? 6 amps. Uh, 6 amps has got to continue. Got to continue. So I have 6 amps going through there and 6 amps going through there. So 6 and 6. And now again, I can do resistance, okay, because resistance is equal to voltage divided by current. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 8 divided by 6 is what, 1.25? 1.33? I don't know. 8 divided by 6. 1.33. Okay, and we can check ourselves. I'm going to leave you to do that yourself, but I think we're good.